Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I have another cooking video for you, but today we are making dessert. We are making rice pudding in the Instant Pot. Okay, so I pulled all my ingredients together and here's what I'm gonna need. Um, I'm gonna need cinnamon, but today I'm actually going to use a pumpkin pie spice. Um, you can also use cinnamon if you like, however, I like the extra spices that are in this. You're going to need three cups of milk. Uh, you also need two and a quarter cups of water. Um, you need one and a half cups of white rice. You need um, one teaspoon of vanilla. You also need a quarter teaspoon of salt. Three eggs. Three quarters cup of sugar. And you can also add like three quarters to a half a cup of raisins if you like to add raisins, which we're not gonna do that today. So this is my Instant Pot. It is a crock pot brand. What I like about this one, it, it has several features on it. So I can steam, I can slow cook like a crock pot. Um, I can also use it as a pressure cooker. I can make yogurt, all these other functions on here, browning, sauteing, warming. I mean, this thing is pretty awesome. So there is a link down below in the description. It is an affiliate link. However, I am not sponsored by this company. Um, they're not paying me to make this video. So first in my pot, um, I need to add my rice. So this is one and a half cups of rice. Then I need to add two and a quarter cups of water. So that's two cups. Let me measure out a little bit more. Okay, so two and a quarter cups of water. And then I need to add my salt, which is a quarter teaspoon, and I'm not gonna measure that. I kind of know how much that is. Okay. All right, so now after I do that, I am going to put the lid on my pot. You can see here, I'm sealing it. Okay, and then I put this, the steamer, I'm going to close it. All right, so I only wanna pressure cook this for three minutes. So we'll get that going. So it's gonna heat up and then it's gonna count down the three minutes. And then I have to let the pressure release naturally from the pressure cooker. So we have to let it sit for about 10 minutes and then we'll be able to open it up. So as soon as that happens, I will come back. Okay, so while we're waiting for that to finish up in the pressure cooker, we're going to mix up some of our other ingredients. So we're going to um, take our milk. This is three cups of milk. And then we need to mix um, in three eggs. There's one. Two. And I can't get the third one. There we go, three. So three eggs. And we need about a teaspoon of vanilla. You guys can see I don't like to measure anything. Unless I'm baking. Because baking is more of a, a science you have to measure. I don't really like to measure a lot of things. All right, so we're gonna whisk this together. Let's get those eggs incorporated in there. Break up those yolks. Okay, 
Okay, and then we're gonna set that aside for a minute. I think this is a little bit larger of a bowl, so I'm gonna put my sugar in here. Okay, and that is um, three quarters cup of sugar. And I'm gonna use my pumpkin spice. You can use your uh, cinnamon if you like. And you need about a half a teaspoon. Let's see if I can manage. Okay, so this has been releasing steam now for about 10 minutes. So now I'm gonna let out the rest of the steam. Make sure when you do this that you use a towel or a kitchen utensil so you don't burn yourself. Oh, let's get this. See, there's still hot steam that comes out of there. So we'll let that finish releasing the steam and then we'll open it up. All right, there we go. So let's pop this open. Be careful when you open it too, more steam will come out along with some hot water. See that? Alrighty. So that's our rice. Look at nice beautiful rice. Okay, so now we're going to add our mixture of the milk and the eggs. Okay, so we're going to put that right in here. That's our milk and our eggs. And then we're also going to add the sugar and the cinnamon and we're going to mix that up and then we're going to turn on our saute setting so let me stop this and then we're going to turn on our saute and start Okay, and we're gonna let this come up to a boil. Okay, so once this gets to a simmer or up to a boil, I'm using a flat spatula or flat wooden spoon so I can make sure nothing sticks to the bottom here. Kind of break up the rice a little bit. and just bring this up to a simmer. So it'll take a little while because my milk and my eggs are cold. And then I'll come back and show you as soon as this starts simmering. Okay, so that's it. So you can see it's uh, simmering or like at a light boil right now. So we're going to turn off our pot. And I'm gonna unplug it. And then we're gonna pull the insert out. I'm gonna use two hands, so let me put my phone down. All right, so here we are. I've removed it from the pot, and now it's just cooling down. And it is done. You can eat it hot, just like this, if you'd like. Um, however, with it being hot, it's still pretty thin and runny. Um, if you let it sit and cool down, it's going to start to thicken up really nicely. So I'm gonna let this cool down and then I'll come back to it and show you what it looks like when it's cooled down. Okay, so this is it guys, a beautiful rice pudding in under 20 minutes. So it's still a little warm, but you can see it's thickening up as it cools down. Maybe put a little Trader Joe's cinnamon on the top. Look at that. Beautiful rice pudding in your Instant Pot in under 20 minutes. I hope you guys make this recipe. Try it with your family and your friends. See if you like it. Add raisins to it if you like, or maybe even cranberries, like dried out cranberries. That sounds pretty good. 
Um, let me know if you try it. Let me know if you like it. Leave a comment down below. And on your way out, please hit the thumbs up button. Let me know if you're enjoying my cooking videos and I'll keep doing them for you. Um, also, if you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button. The little bell next to the subscribe button will notify you every time I upload a new video or I go live. And uh, I hope you guys have a beautiful, wonderful day. And I will see you guys next time with some more uh, reselling videos to come. Some what solds and things like that. So I will see you later. Have a great day.